everybody, welcome to our phase five letters and sounds video. Phase five is the final phase in our letters and sounds programme, which starts at one in nursery and moves right through to phase five. We would hope that all children have mastered phase five by the end of year one, but there are still children that will need support with this in phase two. At Overchurch, we have split phase five into three elements, 5A, 5B and 5C. This is because phase five itself can take anything up to 30 weeks to master. We feel if it's broken into more manageable chunks that the teachers can assess against, it will help the children to make more rapid progress. Phase 5a focuses on new graphemes for reading. In the earlier phases, we learned that a grapheme is what a phoneme looks like written down. A grapheme is a letter or a group of letters that represent a sound. The new graphemes for reading come on a catchphrase card, like we did for phase three. The phase three ones look like this, in red with a caption. The phase five ones have a sentence, so the children at this stage can start to practice writing those sentences with the capital letters and full stops as well. So I'll talk you through the different ones. We have A, I play all day. Ow. I found a cloud. I, my pie fell on the tie. E, I had a treat at the beach. Oi, he's a royal boy. Er, uh, I twirl in a skirt. Ooh, the glue turned blue. Now the children learn that the oo grapheme, this grapheme, can say oo or you in a sentence such as this. It's a snooker hue. And they're listening out for the distinction between the oo and the you sound. But they know that that grapheme can say either. Or I saw to make a draw. W I whistle at my wheel. Take a photo on your phone. Ooh, I screw as I chew. This is another one that the children learn that this graphene can say ooh as in screw. But if you listen carefully in the next sentence, it can say you. I eat my stew in the pew. So again, this graphene can say either. Oh, there's tomatoes on my toe. Or, I launch the sauce. E, put money in the trolley. We also get on to what your children will come home saying are split digraphs. So in the earlier phases, we learned that a digraph was two letters that make one sound. The children have learned lots of these before. A split digraph is still two letters that make one sound, the A and the E but they are split up within the word. We used to call it the magic E. We don't long, no longer use that terminology. We call it the split digraph, or you may hear it used as the split vowel digraph, as they are two vowels that are split up. Any resources that we use with the children have the split digraph on for them. So we might have our word building card if they were making the word same. They would know the Split digraph A needs a letter in the middle to make same. I can also recommend these rainbow phonics from Amazon um, that have the split digraphs already on for you, which really help the children. They also have other digraphs joined already for you, so they're a, a recommended buy from me. The split digraphs are tricky to master, so they have their own catchphrase cards. The snake makes a cake, and we have a little hook underneath to show that it's those two letters together that are making that A sound. E, Eve eats in the evening. I, I like the slide. This one again is another one of those graphemes that can say U in huge cube, or U in words like cute, flute and oh there's a bone 
on my throne. The children learn all of those, just those in phase 5A. They also concentrate on tricky words. Now we've looked at these in the earlier phases, but obviously they uh, increase in difficulty. So an example of a tricky word at phase 5 is through. We look at the tricky part. This bit is not tricky. We know we know from previous phases. It's this part. We would expect ooh to look more like one of these ones that we already know, but actually it's those letters that make the ooh sound and that's why that word is tricky. And there will be lots like that that you will need to discuss with your child. It may be worth going through their phonics book to see if there are any words that aren't able to be decoded and they will be classed as a tricky word that they need to be able to work out the tricky bit to help them remember it. At phase 5a we are still using robot rex to help us when we are spelling the words. Whenever we have blended a word we segment, we break up the word to spell it with our new graphemes for reading and with our split diagraphs. Moving on to phase 5b, the focus of phase 5b is to learn alternative pronunciations for graphemes that the children already know. So that is words like find. Previously, they would know that this says if, but we are teaching them in phase 5b that that now can also say I, find, find. Similarly with words like bread, they knew that that says e in words like treat that they learned in phase 5a, but they now need to know that that can also say f as well. Whoever learns to read in English. Uh, also words like chef, it looks like it's a ch, but is pronounced as a sh. To help with this and phase 5c, as we move into phase 5c, the focus is very much on spelling. We have devised our own over church infant spelling chart. This has got every representation of the phonemes that the children might need to use in their writing. We've trialled this so far and we've seen that it's really, really useful for children making those choices when they are writing. So we would, for example, practice writing a word, main. The children would go to the A column and they'd be able to select the one that they thought was the right way of representing that phoneme. That is just trial and error and that just that's why phase five can take so long because it's just getting to know all the different representations and all the different ones it could be. As you can see for some of them it's easier than others. We will be sending this home so that you can work on this with your children. I hope that's helped you a little bit with phase five. As always please pop in to speak to your class teacher if you have any issues with phonics that you would like to discuss. Thank you for listening.